Good evening guys, this is UD and I will continue the Unified Networking Club video series and in this video I will show you how to connect the real devices uh, what we can run like VM machines into Unified Networking Club. This is one of the most interesting thing, yeah, it's because guys uh, usually asking me, Yuri, is it possible to connect some servers, some AC, ACS, for example, or ICE, or, or uh, VSA, yeah, it's a lot of devices uh, which cannot be, yeah, it's, uh, I do not recommend maybe it's uh, to run like a host inside of Unified Networking Lab, it's, it is a better if you're connecting them like external VM machine. Before we start, let me let me jump back. It's a couple of steps away, and uh, as you remember from our previous videos, that we have installed the networking clouds, which uh, was in video two and three, I, I guess. Yeah, it's and we assign it VLA, uh, VMNet 11, 12, 13, 14. That's mean these VMNet interfaces can be used for connecting the real machines. Which you can saw, which you can see is uh, on my left side. These are two, two machines. I have Windows 8, and I have Windows 12. Yeah, uh, and you as well can see that my interface is assigned is here. So, to get working these devices, you have to assign the same interface. If, for example, we need to assign. Uh, it's already assigned it for networking adapter don't see on that one yeah it's because I'm using it later uh, in the next video I will show you how to get it's a very cool thing yeah it's a, but let's let's start from this one and networking adapter is VMNet 11 it is connected to Windows 8 and we have on a active server uh, uh, active directory server which is assigned to valve okay cool and uh, you can see that my clouds are in 11 and 12. Let's jump to my networking lab. Let's go. It's only one lab is created. Yeah, by the way, uh, I just upgraded it to version 41. Yeah, it's a 42 will be uh, will be announced very, very soon. The 41 is a developer version and uh, allowing to create the own, the own topologies and uh, custom pictures. But I will show you uh, this in next video. So I'm going in into my lab. You remember that lab? It's uh, that was a picture. And we are going to change the host which was used before, like in a router here and a router here. Oh, sorry. And a router here. We are going to change these guys' server and host to real machines. So I'm going to edit mode of this lab. And if we're going to networks and look at this now we have the pnet pnet 0 it is my web interface and assign it to not adapter not adapter of vmware uh, let me show um, okay so not adapter it is address 137.50 so vmnet 11 in this point will be pnet 1 VMNet 12 will be, in my case, PNet 2. All right. So I'm going to delete these two guys. These are others that will be changed to real devices now. I'm going to delete them. All right. So, and I'm adding the new networks, but I'm choosing the PNet 1 will be the host Windows 8 all right, just yeah, these are networks assigned, and we have to remove these networks. Yeah, it's because these networks was used before in uh, connecting the routers, and we are going to delete them. Um, delete and delete. All right, if you are going to the objects, you can see that I added the host, which is pnet1 I'm going to add another one uh, it will be the pnet2 which will be the server server ad uh, which is uh, 2012 yeah, in my case okay and so 
Done. Okay, let's do and add these two guys in in our topology. It will be the uh, uh, server. Where is the server? All right. Cool. Server is here. Uh, okay, just a refresh, and then sometimes if struggling, yeah, it's an uh, you can you can see that it's, uh, do not. Do, Tuna doing it. it's a drag and drop, it's uh, all right, and we are going to connect now uh, in interface 5 will be host Windows 8. Cool. So let me check again if everything is fine. So we are going to check that's a pnet 1 is a VMnet 11, pnet 2 is a VMnet 12. Cool. Let's check on a Windows machine now. Uh, VMnet 11, which is good. And let's check on a server, which is VMnet 12 as well. Very good. So we are ready to start this lab. OK, open the lab. Uh, I will go to pause now. Yeah, it's because uh, my VM machines have to be started. So my nodes are started and all devices are started uh, as well. So here are consoles and consoles are working fine. And let's do some test now. All right. So uh, per our diagram and what we have here. So we have an interface configured, uh, which is zero. Let me open up a console for server. This is a server. All right. Oops. Right. So server is all right, and let's do some server things. Okay. So the first in the first interface, which is uh, Ethernet zero. Yeah, it's uh, we can we can we can check this on and uh, verify that VMnet 12 is used as a cloud pnet 2 and we are going to configure now this interface per our diagram what i should what i have to configure 192.168.50.100 cool and the gateway as you see it will be on the asa it will be dot one cool good let's go so it's a, some some ip is configured 50.100 and will be a 50.01 all right good so it is configured this management is not in use at this moment all right uh, let's jump to topology now again and the port 5 on the switch should be configured in a vlan 50. let's check this uh, switch number three uh, rainbow show vlan do we have no we have not uh, vlan 50 name server okay exit and uh, to show run interface e5 uh, uh, that's a little bit different okay just on a cisco this is the switch uh, so interface 5 is not configured in a VLAN. Let's do this. Conf T5 switch port access VLAN 50. Cool. Exit. Um, and we are. Show run. Let's, let's check if some trunk is configured. The port 8. Port uh, 8 is configured, but we have not configured the trunk between switch and 1 and 2. Let's do this. Interface. There is a no command range, just you are saying you know, Arista E uh, 1 till 2. All right, yeah, it's uh, doing the configuration for range. Um, switch port mode trunk. All right, and we are. Let's do the same command on a switch to uh, conf t host sv sv2 vlan50 name server accept uh, interface e12 going to be switch port mode 
trunk. Uh, dot one q trunk is automatically is assigned here. Yeah, it's because uh, no other options available. So, so we are configured. And if we are looking now on the ports, the to the A say the port number four is going to be in a VLAN four fifty. Uh, interface E E four will be switchboard mode uh, access okay switchboard access VLAN 50 cool so so switches are configured uh, just one thing show run uh, as you see the multiple spawning tree is by default yeah it's I'm going to change spawning tree mode drop it spawning tree and the same command I'm going to assign on a switch all right, good. So the ports are configured. Let's jump to ASA now. ASA using the VNC, and we have port uh, gigabit 02, which is good. All right. will be assigned to DMZ zone security level for example 70 IP address 192.168.50.1 uh, all right no shoot let's do the test so I'm jumping back to my server now and calling out some command prompt, okay, ping 192.116.50.1. Look at this. And now we got reachability from our active directory server uh, 2012 to the our ASA, uh, which is configured inside of UNL. And here we're going ping 192.116.50.100. Cool guys, let's do the same for for the host, and the host is here. Okay. Okay, all right. So, which is good. Let's do configuration for and then interface. Management is not in use at this moment. Uh, properties. So. Let's check what we have on a. So we are configured 60.100. What do we have here? Yes, exactly. And this is the same. So, so the host is configured properly. This is all right. Now we are going to configure our network. So I'm going to the switch number two and the port number five, and it will be VLAN 60. We have to assign a VLAN 60 first. I'm, I'm naming inside. Yeah, all right. So interface uh, E5 will be switch port access VLAN 60. Yeah, 60. All right. There is a no VTP. Unfortunately, yeah. So that's mean uh, we need to assign the VLAN. Sixty here. Name inside as well. Okay. So that's very good. And the port, which is going to uh, our ASA, is a port number three. Interface E three. Switch port access VLAN sixty. Cool. So. Check how it looks. Yeah, so we have so 60 Ethernet 3, which is going to ASA, and we have assigned the Ethernet 5, port 5, which is going to the host. Perfect. Now we're going to configure our ASA. Uh, our ASA, the port is gigabit 01. Uh, gigabit 01 will be. Uh, name if it's, uh, ins 
side. Inside automatically, automatically usually assigning the small hundred of security level, which is good. IP address 192.168.60.1. So, no shoot. Cool. And we are. Let's check the test now. I'm going to the my host and let's do some pings. 60.1. Perfect. Look at this. And now I have assigned it. Uh, I connected my Windows 8. If you're going back to the topology, this is a host Windows 8 and this is a server. Uh, 2012, yeah, which, which are connected to the real, uh, to my UNL network and working uh, as a gateway, is, uh, acting, ASA is acting like a gateway, yeah, so which is good. So, in this cloud, you can assign on not only one machine, yeah, it's about, if you're going back, for example, um, to my machines, let's, let's, let's do, for example, you need to assign in the same network, yeah, it's because in a lot of topologies, I saw that uh, some in the cloud, is assigned like let's say the I, 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 uh, ACS, some VSA, and we just changing this to VMNet 12, for example. Yeah, it's a, which is our server, and that's it. Yeah, it's uh, the next machine will be assigned the same interface. Of course, IP addresses should be different, but all these machines will work in a one network, and you can reach them uh, your unified networking lab. Perfect. Thank you for viewing.